good. It's um, you know, it's it's just good to have him back in the building. Uh, I know he's. Um, I know he's, you know, happy to be back and, and, and ready to go. So um, I'm just excited to have him back. Mike, what happened so report between you two before practice last Thursday? Um, Elijah, I'm referring to Elijah. Yeah, I don't, I don't totally know what you're talking about. It, just, you know, like obviously he was sent home for a few days. Ago. Yeah, no, it's uh, – I heard there was like a, some sort of blow-up, which is – that's the only thing I'll, I'll – and say is 100% inaccurate. There was nothing. There was a conversation, um, you know, obviously. But uh, other than that, I'm not going to get into the conversation. We're going to keep that in house uh, like we should. But uh, there was there was 100% no blow up. We'll, we'll consider everything. And again, every every week's going to be a little bit different. A lot of the times, it depends on what the defense is doing too. You know, if you're going to pack it in the inside, which is a lot of what we've seen over the last few weeks, where people are just packed inside the numbers, uh, you're forced to play a little bit more outside or or, or find different ways to. Uh, you know, to get guys uh, in, in positions to be successful. So it, everything will always be on the table. There's no – in this system, there's no, like, slot guy, inside guy, outside. Like, you can move people around anywhere. Like, you're going to – you see Corey in the slot at times, but I don't think anyone would look at Corey as a slot. But there's a lot of times if you looked at his alignment, he is – the slot player for that one, you know. So, um, you know, that will always uh, that'll always be fluid. He's a special player, you know, what he brings in, in the huddle and then also his just physical ability. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to have him back. He's, he's a key player for us. What are your conversations like with him after kind of what happened last week? Yeah, man, just letting him know, you know, I got his back no matter what. You know, we're, we're all going through this thing together. And, you know, I hope he knows that I'm always there to stand by him and, uh, you know, it's it's a tough it's a tough time. You know, I, I get it, and um, you know, really the biggest thing is I just hope he knows that I'm there off the field. You know, not not just on the field thing, but you know, I'm there for him off the field if he need, needs anything. Right, it's a it's a completely different situation. You know, the things that are going on behind closed doors and everything with him. You know, we don't we don't all truly know, and so even me, I, you know, I don't truly know. But all I know is I can stand there and I can I can back him up and you know show him I'm on his side. And no matter what, I'm going to be there for him. And if he wants to talk about something, go through something. If he has something on his mind, he can come to me about it.